Hey, busy bees, it's so good to see you again. And thank you for tuning in and coming back to discuss uh, prayer practices. Today's uh, video will be more around um, the practice of building in uh, a new habit re related to prayer. So perhaps you have a regular prayer practice, um, but you've had it for some time and you've been re-examining it and you're trying to think of some way to change it up or make it new again. Um, or maybe you have a, a habit that you um, are happy with and it is something that has worked very well for you and we'd be curious to know um, what that prayer practice is. Maybe that'll spark an idea for someone else out here and, and why that practice works um, for you. Or maybe uh, you'd like to start a prayer practice uh, or add to your prayer practice. And so you're looking to add something further to your practice of prayer or maybe something more intentional as well. So we're kind of walking through um, some, some intentional steps and in thinking about uh, how prayer can best serve us throughout the day and, and building in um, a habit that we can try for a certain amount of time and then uh, and then come back and talk about how that um, prayer practice worked, well, what that prayer practice was and, and how it worked for us. Um, so just going through some basic things to think through. Um, the first being that when you're building in a new habit for prayer, um, where is that uh, prayer practice going to take place? Is it um, the case where sometimes being in the midst of the hustle and bustle of the day inspires your prayers? Maybe you notice things that are happening all around you and that inspires you to pray. And so maybe you want to be sitting in the midst of things, maybe on a daily commute or um, in a busy, busy public place as you um, think about prayer. Or are you someone who uh, needs silence in order to focus? Is it going to be um, in an isolated place or at least a place apart where you find that you pray best? Um, so, so what is the place? Maybe it's in your car on the way to work or maybe it's in your office before you start work at the beginning of the day or maybe it's um, uh, in a classroom at school. You know, where, where is that place that you um, find time to, to pray? Uh, the next thing to consider is when will you pray? When, when would you like to build in that time for prayer? And how often will that happen? So if you're looking to build in um, something at the beginning of the day, will it be first thing in the morning as soon as you open your eyes? Will this be a prayer that you offer up or a time of prayer that you offer up before you go to bed? And that's the last thing you do before you go to sleep is a way to sort of empty your mind and, and wind down and come to a place where you can rest. Um, will, be, will the prayer that you offer up be something that you do at different points in the day, continuously throughout the day? So um, what is the time that you would like to try setting aside for prayer? And kind of going hand in hand with that, I, I find um, how might we be able to remind ourselves that, hey, it's time to pray? Um, I know whenever I'm trying to build in a new habit or remember to start doing something, um, I can forget if I don't remind myself. And so I try to um, leave something out that reminds me, hey, you're trying to change your habits. So if it's, um, you know, I'm trying to drink more water throughout the day, I leave a water bottle on my kitchen table or... You know, if I'm trying to remember, hey, don't you want to um, work out, maybe leave my shoes a little more in the middle of the floor. <laughs> but um, if we're thinking of building in a, a prayer practice, is it, hey, maybe I'll leave my prayer book in the middle of my desk so that I remember to pray and remember that I am being intentional about building in that practice. So leaving something or having some way to remind yourself, or if you're praying, First thing in the morning, maybe make that um, part of the label on your alarm when you um, 
get up in the morning. So just having a way to remember we're trying to be intentional about building in this new practice as well. And then the next part is um, what will be the content of this prayer practice? Um, is it going to be something that is more off the cuff um, uh, with sort of a loose prompt? Or is this going to be something that is a little more structured and has some written prayers to it um, to ponder? Sometimes I do a combination of both. I start with a written prayer, as I've um, said in other videos, I'll start with a written prayer. And then that flows into um, other prayers as well and other things that are on my mind. Um, and so what are, what are the um, resources for prayer? Another one that is often popular is called uh, Lectio Divina. And that is a practice where you'll read a passage over and over and um, sit in silence and meditate with that passage and think about what comes to mind, what, what comes to mind to the top, rises to the top of your mind as you read that passage. And then how does that inspire a prayer? So that's a, that's a way to pray as well. Um, a good online resource that I have found is called d365.org, and it is a um, sort of step-by-step -step guide through a short daily prayer. So if you, say, are commuting on the train or um, just have your phone with you sometime in the day, you can pull it out and pull it up on your phone, and uh, it's a short little devotion for prayer. And it invites you then to pray further, and that might be worth a try as well. Um, and then this is at this point, I would say, for those of you out in the hive, um, what are some resources that have worked for you? Um, we would certainly love to know what is what works for you in a daily practice, and maybe that'll offer some new material for another person out in the hive to say, hey, maybe I'll give that a try. Um, so maybe it's an old practice to you, but to someone else, it might be something completely, um, completely new. And so, uh, would invite you to share those as well. So that's more of the content, or if you're doing something extemporaneous, you can keep it simple. Think of one thing to give thanks for, uh, a petition, one petition to pray for and lift that up or, um, Places you've seen God and you give thanks, and places that um, make you anxious through, for the day, and you hand that over to God. Um, so it can be a really simple extemporaneous prayer. And then finally, I would um, offer this consideration uh, is, will someone else take part in this prayer practice with you? Um, that could be maybe you've told someone else, hey, I'm going to try a new habit of prayer um, this week. And you're letting someone know and they're checking in and saying, how's that going? Or maybe you're both trying um, this idea of building in a prayer practice, but you have your own practices. But you check in with one another and see um, what's going on and discuss that. Or uh, maybe you decide to take time to pray together. Uh, I, I, I don't know, um, but I think that would be an interesting consideration that we do have this community online and we will be joining uh, you in prayer this week and in, in working on these prayer practices. But is there someone in your own community who might join in on this practice with you? And I would um, invite you to share that as well. And, and um, I, I lift that up because I also believe that prayer is something that doesn't just di um, influence our relationship with God, but with one another. And so when we let others know that we are in prayer and we invite others to join us in prayer, um, that that has an impact on our relationships. And I often think in a very positive way. So um, I, I saved that consideration for last, but I would invite you to, to really think about that and consider um, either 
uh, inviting someone to form their own prayer practice or maybe try a prayer practice together. So um, throughout the week, we'll be checking in and um, some, some different ways to ask how that prayer practice is going and I uh, would certainly love to hear ideas from you, um, hear about what you've come up with and what has worked for you and would certainly love to know um, how you notice a difference in your day by introducing a new habit of prayer. So um, look forward to hearing from you and thanks for tuning in. Bye.